What's up everybody, back with another video for Carnivorous Plants Journey, and today I wanted to show you guys a Nepenthes. Most people, when they think of carnivorous plants, tend to think of Venus flytraps and are not aware that there are many different species and many different types of plants out there that are carnivorous. This being one of them. I'm going to start with the design of it. This is the picture of the plant. The picture is the business end where it catches and consumes all the prey and attracts the prey. This at the bottom of it that connects it to, you can see the corner of the leaf, is the tendril. And after the tendril goes the leaf and the leaf is connected to the rest of the plant. Um, the design over here of the business end is really, really interesting. So the top up here where it's all candy striped, um, this is called the peristome. These plants come from really high humidity areas where this peristome always stays wet. And you can see how there's kind of ridges that point down into the cup. So essentially because they're always wet the and it points down, most prey will get up here and slip down and the ridges corral it down. Um, this up here is called the lid. The lid is usually secreting some sort of sugary substance or a sap to attract the prey up to here. And these are called the ladder, these, uh, these spiky looking ridges right here. And what they do is if a bug comes crawling across this pitcher and it hits the ladder, it's kind of corralling them in and they follow the line straight up to the peristome to be able to fall in. This down here, you can see the little liquid down here. What that is, is the plant has produced a bunch of digestive fluids, um, some antifungal and antibacterial properties down there in that, uh, in that fluid. And what that does is it breaks down whatever prey falls in. Simultaneously, it does not let it rot. So it cleanly breaks it down without any rot or any fungus growing down on the prey since it's, you know, going to be dissolving it essentially. Um, these are absolutely amazing plants. This picture is really juvenile. This will get much, much more amazing when it gets older. The candy striping for, you know, such a young plant is already beautiful. I can't wait till this one uh, gets more mature. Um, and yeah, that is a Nepenthes. 